The topic is Tompa Shinrap. Tompa Shinrap is regarded as the founder of the Bun religion. Now, the Bun religion is indigenous to Tibet, some Himalayan regions, and uh, farther to the west, west, very west Tibet. So, Tompa Shinrap is uh, found in both scroll work, murals, and uh, sculpture. We know about Tompa Shinrap from three main sources. One is called the Dodu, and this is a, a one-volume uh, biography of Tompa Shinrap. The second is the Zermik in two volumes, and then the Zichi in 12 volumes. And the last two, the Zermik and Zichi, belong to the Bun Revealed Treasure Tradition. And so they're later. The, the last of these is, is 14th century, and the Zermik is roughly 10th century. The Dodu is earlier, much earlier than that. So, Tompa Shenrap is, uh, has three main depictions in art. Um, the first is as a peaceful deity, so, so youthful, wearing a crown, wearing ornaments, bracelets, armlets, earrings, ribbons, so very much in, in the model of an Indian uh, heavenly deity, heavenly god. Um, so that's the basic form, and that's the earliest form that we find Tompa Shinrap. Is, is that. Now, coming out of the biographies, we, we also have a series of life events, and uh, uh, there is a form of Tompa Shinrap called Nampar Gyalwa. Nampar Gyalwa is often uh, uh, blue in color or, or slightly uh, uh, darker in color, and he has the, the right arm raised in the air. And, and, this, and this is quite common in painting and sculpture, and it refers to an important event uh, when uh, Tompa Shenrup traveled to China and was in discussions with a particular Chinese emperor uh, named uh, Kongtze. And uh, there are a number of, of things that, that happened during this exchange and a number of, uh, of kind of uh, minor adventures, uh, some involving sea monsters. Now, the, the third form is Tritsuk Gyawa. And Tritsuk Gyawa is the most political of the forms, because in his form as Tritsugyawa, this is identical, uh, almost identical to the, the Buddhist concept of what a Buddha should look like. So Tompa Shenrab has uh, Ushnisha on the crown of the head, uh, the, the urna, the three, the, between the eyebrows, the, the, the three lines under the neck, elongated earlobes, and, and he wears the, the attire of a monastic. So so this one appears actually fairly late. I don't, I don't have an, I don't myself, I haven't seen it dated. I haven't found uh, uh, the earliest reference to this. But in art, it, it's very late. It's really the last uh, really few hundred years that we see Tompa Shenrup as uh, um, imitating or mimicking uh, the, the Buddha form. Now, one thing that, that uh, can be seen occasionally is, uh, is Tompa Shenrap as the Buddha and surrounded by 16 uh, uh, teachers also uh, wearing monastic robes. So one might think, and, and, and uh, very easily confused, uh, by thinking that these are Shakyamuni Buddha and the 16 Arhats. But on closer examination, you find that these 16 actually aren't aren't uh, the Arhats, and uh, there's slightly more than 16, and these are actually the teachers of Tompa Shenrap. Uh, so this is something we find in the last few hundred years where, where some Bun imagery appears to be mimicking more uh, Buddhist imagery. And th this is done for probably several reasons. One is uh, it's just a natural absorption of, of common uh, imagery and popular imagery, but the other is also to hide a little bit. If you if you look like the majority of people around you, then you're less likely to to incur any kind of uh, of abuse or threats or or have your temples uh, vandalized. If if you look like the majority of people and act like them, then then you survive with them, not in opposition to them. So 
These are the three main forms. Uh, Tompa Shenrop, the earliest forms we find are as a peaceful uh, deity. Um, then we have Namper Gyalwa, where he's holding his right arm upraised, and then Tritsuk Gyalwa, where he appears almost identical to the Buddhist uh, Shakyamuni Buddha.